All right, good. What time is it? Good afternoon. Uh, it is day 20 of the uh, Hardcore Challenge. And I just got done doing my uh, cardio, my first of two cardio. I sort of lounged around a little bit this morning. Um, kind of lounged around, took my time to get up. I was tired last night, as you probably saw in the video, I was really tired. And even this morning, you know, I got up, I had something to eat, and I was still going in and out of taking some small naps. Um, so it's a Saturday, so I was able to do that. Um, but, you know, I decided to go ahead and get up, uh, get, uh, I got, uh, some black coffee into me, got some, some meals into me. So I think, um, I'm probably, uh, third meal, second or third meal in at this point. And I decided to go ahead and get my cardio in. And, um, instead of doing the stairs in the house this morning, um, which is what I could have done, I wanted to come inside to the gym and get on the Stairmaster. And I'll tell you, one of the things that I like about this Stairmaster, for one, um, is there's there, there are probably three or four of uh, Stairmasters in this Gold's gym that I go to. And, uh, but there was one in particular that I liked because it had the little handles where you could see what your heart rate was or is and then it adjusts the speed of how fast you're walking up the stairs so that you stay within the fat burning zone. And um, I really hadn't been paying much attention to this number um, or this range. I just, you know, got out there, um, you know, did some cardio. Uh, obviously, you've seen the cardio at home walking on the stairs and I'm clearly, you know, breathing heavily. But I wanted to take a little bit further beyond and I wanted to be a little more exact to say I want to make sure that I stay within that zone so I can burn as much fat as I can during all of these cardio sessions and so that's what I came in here for so I'll probably do another one tonight um, I plan on going out tonight hanging out a little bit and trying to enjoying the weekend and relaxing but um, I'll probably come back in for this evening's cardio and do exactly the same thing. Um, but, you know, while I was walking today, there were so many different thoughts going through my head. And I wanted to share a couple of those with you. Um, the first one is I felt amazing um, doing the cardio, right? There was a, it was probably somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes that I started to feel sort of a, is if euphoric is a right word to use. I just felt very clear. I felt alive. I felt healthy. I felt confident. I felt um, energized in a way that I really haven't felt in some time. Now, this isn't to say I haven't had glimpses of it while doing other cardio sessions or or what have you but there's something about today and I don't know if it's because I'm three weeks in I don't know if it's because it's cardio I don't know what it what it is but I wanted to record this moment and say that on this day this is day 20 this is day 20 um, I just felt really good and I think in that moment I was reminded of how great it feels to be active, how wonderful it feels to transform your body. Now, don't get me wrong, before I even got to the gym, I was at home lounging and, and that felt good too. It was just in a different way. But I realized the more that I laid around, enjoying being comfortable and relaxing, the more tired I became. And when I came into the gym and got active, the more energy it appeared that I was able to create. Um, 
so for that I just wanted to capture that thought because that while it may make sense to everybody for me was an application that I want to remember I want to remember that if I'm feeling drowsy you know maybe that's the time to go you know get active you know walk around the block or do something that's gonna get the blood circulating um, and I just felt amazing um, you know again beyond that I felt very confident I could feel myself wanting to walk around you know just alive I wanted to be more active um, and I think too it reminded me of a feeling that I have um, when I feel like I'm on top of my game and there was something I was listening to yesterday. I was listening to a podcast on the way home from work. And there was um, there was a, a gentleman who, who said that when he's in the gym and when he's consistently in the gym, everything else in his life seems to just fall into place. But when he stops going to the gym, when he stops eating like he should, it's like then everything else begins to fall apart. And I completely understood what that meant because for quite some time, I felt as though my life had been sort of in disarray, chaos. And I know that I wasn't working out. I know that I wasn't being active. I know that my body image, you look in the mirror and you say, oh my gosh, I don't look good. I don't feel good. Um, and you try substances you know, food, you try, you know, maybe alcohol, maybe, you know, you're chasing this, 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 uh, I need to feel better. But when you start to put things into line, when you start to align your life, you start doing what it is in alignment with who you are, with what you believe, it feels like everything else begins to come together. I made a comment once, maybe I wrote it in the blog, I said, my day starts better when I make my bed in the morning. And it's such a simple act that you would make your bed. And you don't think anything of it because you're thinking it's just your bed. I mean, you can do it or you don't have to. I mean, really, no one's going to know. It doesn't really make a huge difference because to some, you'll be right back in the bed later on that night. But I think what it does is it puts into place order and structure for the rest of the day. I made my bed, I made my meals, I got my clothes set out, you know, things just sort of fall in line. And so I, I wanted to capture that because I think it's significant. You know, here we are, week three, of this eight week challenge. And even as my body transforms, so too is my mind. So too is the energy, so too, um, you know, are sort of the, the, the who and what makes me who I am, I can feel churning. I can feel is sort of being reactivated in some way. I don't know if, if you understand through your own life, if that makes sense for you. Maybe, you know, uh, logically it makes sense and, and you understand the words, but to apply it to something in your life, like, yeah, I remember a time when I was, I felt you know, lethargic, dead to some degree, just like, oh my gosh. And then you did something and it turned your whole perspective around. And I think for this moment, which is a long answer to a short question, is obviously, you know, working out and being active and doing cardio and eating right. These are all the right things. And many of us already know what to do. It's just the, the doing it. And so I'm sitting here before you saying, I have walked into week three. I'm well, almost done with week three. And it's on a Saturday in the third week that I come to the realization of how much I missed it. Um, yeah, you know, maybe my muscles are a little bit sore and maybe I'm tired, not getting enough sleep because I'm racing from one activity to another. But in this moment right now, it is probably one of the best decisions that I'm so glad that I made that I jumped on this body transformation um, because I wanted to get back into shape, because I wanted to pull my life together. 
but I can also see that that I've seen again as an adult I've seen what it's like to be healthy to be in shape to take action consistently and I've also seen what life was like when I don't and I remember the feeling and if I had to choose between being active and not being active I think you can tell by the context of this particular video that the active is the right one um, is there a price to pay absolutely you know it takes time out of your day it's gonna take money to eat right uh, but I think the benefits completely outweigh you know the alternative now I'm gonna bring up something that I um, and again I don't know what role this particular thing plays but I wanted to bring it up um, because I think that it's 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 worth bringing up um, so a couple of things so personally and 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 I just want to be very cautious not to give too much away but I do think it's worth it worth noting um, so one of the supplements that I've uh, I started to take uh, I think at the end of week one was a product called Ferrodrox, which is um, a testosterone matrix. It, there's another word that falls in between testosterone and matrix. And it was made, it is made by uh, caged muscle. And I started taking it, I think it was about two weeks ago. And so I have for about two weeks taken a, a product and I told you before, I really didn't notice anything. Um, I think the last time I even talked about supplements, I really didn't see the difference. I, I didn't see anything going on. I didn't really notice anything. Um, so I really didn't have a lot to to say. But I'm gonna uh, but it, but I'm gonna throw it in here now. Being two weeks in, um, I may be seeing the effects begin to take off. Now I I don't know if it's the product or if it's just being active or it's a combination of the two um, I don't know but I wanted to I thought it was worth bringing up now I talked about libido and I can tell you again that that has come is has you know improved um, which is an interesting um, observation and I think it is worth noting um, not that uh, I didn't have any, but it's, I've noticed more. I've just noticed an increase, if that makes sense. I've noticed um, um, overall blood flow has has just over my whole body has really begun to really form. I'm feeling that um, the supplements that I'm taking, the foods that I'm eating. The amount of water that I'm drinking, which is about a gallon plus a day, um, I think everything is just playing a role to bring balance back to my life. And I think as a result of that, I'm seeing more energy. I'm seeing, uh, you know, an increased sense of I don't know if it's I don't know what the right term is. An increased libido, increased energy, increased uh, stamina in the gym. Um, I could say that it's I have strength in the gym, but because we don't always do the same exercise from week to week, it's kind of hard to measure whether or not I'm getting stronger or just finding that I'm becoming more conditioned from week to week, which is completely fine. Um, but I'm excited. Now, personally, and this is where I want to tread tread lightly is you know even in my personal life and, and in my relationship uh, you know it's noticeable right uh, I think last night we were talking um, now I was tired last night so I didn't get a lot of talking but last night we were talking and, and uh, you know she had made a comment that she noticed some weight loss you know in my face uh, that she tells that it's getting slimmer. I told her that, you know, I could see more, a little more definition, you know, in my muscles, in my legs, my arms, my chest. I talked about this yesterday. 
Um, but she also noticed from her side, from her perspective, that as uh, when we first started dating, that you know, I was working out and I had more energy. Uh, we were definitely more active, uh, both in and out of the house. And then there was a period of time when I stopped working out, I stopped being active in the gym, and I began to kind of slowly decline where I didn't have the energy, I wanted to just lay around, I kind of want to just, you know, get on the couch, and the more I got on the couch, the more I was eating junk food, and then the more I'd want to, you know, do nothing, and that affects, you know, like just the overall activity. And, and then I notice now that I'm, you know, back in the gym doing some things, now I feel more active like i want to get out and do some more things and my brain feels more more sharp less cloudy um i'm noticing that i don't want to lay around as much and because my life is so busy during the week um that i just kind of have to go 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 even though i can take a break on saturday mornings or sundays um i still feel that i still have to take some action and like right now is a perfect example now i want to go do something you know i want to get out of the house and so I think, you know, as a parent, you know, it's good to be in that in that in that place because of course you want to spend time with your children, you want to be fun, you want to, you know, be engaging. Uh and then I think as uh you know, as a partner, you know, you also you know, you want to be active, you want to be engaging, you want to, you know, have fun and have energy to have fun and and not curl up on the couch and spend every day, you know, watching TV. Um, so that's some of the observations that I have uh, on day 20, one, 20, day 20. Um, so last night I know I was a little lethargic, I was a little uh, cloudy in the way that I was thinking. Uh, today, um, not so much. I mean, a little bit from time to time I feel, uh, but I do feel that after the workout, I mean obviously everything just seems so much sharper and clearer and I'm trying to capture as many thoughts while I'm in this place, because, you know, obviously things change, mood changes, um, you know, energy changes. And I just feel like, um, why not capture it while I can? So, um, that's the workout. Again, it's an active rest day, which means just cardio. So uh, again, two sessions right now, we are 30 minutes still, uh, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening. Uh, no weight training today or tomorrow. Uh, just you know, enjoy enjoy our downtime. Uh, still continue to eat your your meals, which is what I'm telling myself. Continue to follow those macros, although uh, the cardio uh, carbs drops a, a little on the weekends because we're not training, uh, and I'll have to make up a couple of meals because I'm not taking the recage, which is about 28 grams of of protein so I'll have to find another meal for protein in there uh, I think that's everything that I was sort of thinking today um, I may jump back on later just depends on what what we end up doing um, and if I have any other final thoughts after the second uh, second workout but for now uh, that is morning cardio day 20